Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix iPhone 14, 14 Pro Max video is lagging, it is stuttering, and it is freezing, and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one, when you're having this issue, all you have to do is we just need to try with reboot your iPhone. So for rebooting the iPhone, you have to press this particular icon along with this icon all together. So that will bring you for reboot. Let me do this. So just press and hold like this. So we'll be getting this option. So right now from here, you have to go for slide to power off so that your iPhone will be completely a reboot and it will be getting a fresh start. Once after it is successfully done, once after successfully done, you can see whether the issue is still persisting or not. If you're still having with the issue, then we need to move to the second step. Second step is all about, we need to reset phone settings. For this, we just need to tap over here in the settings. Now scroll down and navigate to general. Now from here, we have to scroll down and there is an option called transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on this one, go for reset. Now from here, you have to go for reset all settings. So this particular step did work it for many users. So we can try this out. The reset all settings did work it for many users in my knowledge. So you can try this out. If after trying with this as well, if it's still not working, you can try the third step. It is nothing but we have to do a factory reset your iPhone. So when you're doing this, you have to keep in mind, we are going to do all the things over here, which means it will be completely erasing everything from your phone. So you have to take a complete backup. If you need anything to be done, you have to take the backup. After you successfully take the backup, you have to go over here in the settings once again, tap on the general, scroll down and navigate to transfer or reset. Now there is an option called reset all content and settings. Just tap on this one. So once after that, you have to go for continue, give the passcode. And once after that, your phone will be like a new one. It will be completely removed. Everything, your contacts, videos and everything will be removed phone, uh, from the phone. Want it to be like a new phone and you have to keep in mind all the data which you wanted to which has to be in your side have to be kept and completely backup or else you'll be having the trouble so you have to take the backup and do a complete factory reset afterwards you have to see even after it's still it's not working you can try with the fourth step that is all about we have to offload and install the apps so just go over here in the settings over here now from here we have to go to the general now from here, we have to go to the iPhone storage. And now from here, you have to cross check yourself. Many apps will be there in the phone. So some will be very necessary for you, or you might be using it regularly. Rest apps might be, you, you may not be using it much lately. So if that is the case, you have to remove the unwanted apps. So you can go over here, or you can find the unwanted things from here. We can do a complete offload of the unused apps. And there is an option for enable this. And also if you cross stick over here, you can see I'm using all these things which I regularly use such as Netflix, Snapchat, etc. which I very regularly use. But there are few more apps which we often use. So you can fix from your side which one you need and which you need you are not using much. So if there is unwanted thing can be completely removed and I mean you can delete it. And once afterwards it's successfully deleted, you can see whether the issue is solved. Parallel you have to keep in mind there is one more step where you have to cross check your storage as well. So do the same, go to the settings. Now from here, we have to go to the general over here. Now from here, we have to go to the iPhone storage and make sure that you're having enough space. So if you're not having enough space and you're trying to play these kind of videos, you'll be definitely having, you know, all these kind of issues such as uh, freezing, stuttering and lagging. So you have to keep in mind, you should be having enough space. So in the 256 GB, I have all up, almost used up 79 GB. So which means I'm still having the plenty of space. So if that is not the case in your case, you have to remove it, which means you can go over here, remove the unwanted apps, delete the photos and videos, which uh, you accidentally saved it up. You can remove it completely. And once after then you're done with this one, you can see whether the issue is solved. Even the issue is still persisting with you. The next is all about you have to check your internet connection. So if your cellular data has to be working fine, so just go over here, make sure the cellular data is working and you're having enough package. So you'll be getting all the notifications one by one. So it is very important that you should be having the cellular data or else you'll be having a lot of trouble. And also you have to cross check, even the cellular data is enabled, still you're having this, you have to cross or the background study that you're having internet package. So if you're connected to the Wi-Fi or any other thing, you have to keep in mind the Wi-Fi is working fine. 
so the wi-fi connection is not having internet it's also some kind of trouble can cause you up so you have to make sure the wi-fi is also working fine even after trucking with the internet and still the issue is not persisting with you and still you are having a lot of nightmare with this all you have to do is just update your ios to do this just go over here in the search tap over here or you can enable the wi-fi as well once you're done with this one just go over here in the settings now from here we have to go over here in the general and now from here we have to go to the software update and you have to see whether you are having any new update and software like this i'm having io 16.6 if you feel like if you are outdated a lot so if you're too back in the software updation you have to update to the latest versions and also once after updating to the latest versions what you need to do is most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye